Japan's love of data and detail can be a bit of a trap here in Japan when you're trying to make some sales. Hello, my name is Greg Story. I'm the president of Dale County Training Japan and the best-selling author of Japan Sales Mastery. We're coming to you from our high performance center here in Akasaka, in the very heart of Japan in Minato-ku here in Tokyo. And we are doing a series on doing business in Japan. Today I want to talk a little bit about how to present your solution. Now, when you are in a Western model of sales, then you'll have a process to go through. And the buyer in the Western sales format is also trained on how that works as well. When you get to Japan though, and you start doing the selling here, you find that there's a little bit of a bias on the Japanese side, which is gonna take you down a bit of a wrong path if you let the buyer control the sales meeting, which by the way is how all Japanese salespeople do it, just for reference point there. Don't be like them. So when you're presenting the solution, obviously you start with the features, the spec, weight, color, delivery times, quality control, all that very, very micro detail. Japanese people are very detail oriented. They will suck that stuff right up. They will suck it right up. The problem is we don't buy features. We don't buy features. We buy the benefits of the features. You know, it's the old, the old uh, saw in uh, sales training about people don't go to the DIY center to buy a drill. They go there to buy a hole and the drill is merely the means of producing that hole, be it in concrete, brick, steel, wood, whatever it might be. It's the same problem. That drill is just, you know, weight, size, speed, such, they're all features. The hole is what they're after. So it's the same thing. When you're selling, you've got to be talking about what's the outcome. How will your feature, how will your spec, data, detail produce the outcome they want? But they will drag you down into the morass of detail. You've got to get out of that. You've got to start talking about how that particular feature, that data point, that spec, whatever it is, turns into a benefit for them. But that's not enough. That's not enough because a benefit, okay, a benefit, that's a bit of a theoretical point. Yeah, okay, it's a benefit. So what? What's the application of that benefit? How can they take that benefit and create something of value inside their company? Now, this is where most people miss it. They may, well, I definitely talk about the feature. They might get to the benefit, even in Western sales world, might get to the benefit, but they rarely go to the application of the benefit. You've got to draw out in a word, series of word pictures, something they can see in their mind's eye, what the application of that benefit will mean for them in their business. You've really got to link those two. Benefit into application, that's the outcome. And then you need to show some evidence on that because you're just a salesperson and salespeople are here to sell and they talk a lot. And it's all statements, oh, we can do this, we can do that, we've got this, we've got that. Well, yeah, but that salesperson talk and maybe you've got to discount all that. You need to be talking about evidence. So you're going through the spec, the features of that, drawing out the benefits, then highlighting the application of the benefits and showing where you've gotten benefits for another company, had them applied and got outcomes for them with evidence. And it's got to be real. You can't make this stuff up. You start making this stuff up, get out of sales. We don't want you in our profession. Get out right now. It's got to be authentic. It's got to be real. It's something you can actually prove to the buyer if they want that level of detail. And then you go into a trial close. And you go into a trial close asking for the business because you're trying to ascertain, have I shown enough value yet? Have I been clear enough yet on what I've been talking about? Did I cover enough detail in what our solution will do for this buyer? so that we can now get to the closing part of a deal being done. So that's a structure. Now, Japanese salespeople they don't have a structure. They just have spec, features, that's it. So remember, they're training your buyers. You have to retrain the buyer. You have to be a professional here. So when you go in, you've got to have this in mind. I have to go through this stage. But they will keep asking you detailed questions about the data, the spec, and you will get wrapped up in a long discussion about really micro detail. That's fine. Yes, they're the buyer. They need to know that because they're all risk averse. They want to make sure that they're not making a mistake here. They want to get across all the detail. That's good. But you've got to control the buying conversation and wrap it up into the benefits now. Get it into the benefits and then talk about how those benefits can be applied. Lots of word pictures. Tell stories. Okay, flush it out, really flush it out for them. And then 
Give an example of a, another company who's been successful doing the same thing, then ask the trial close and see if there's any resistance to what you're saying. And if you do that, you will be very successful in your sales here in Japan.